back to Cross Stitch the Globe. I'm Stephanie. I'm Allison. And we are two sisters who love to cross stitch and um, floss tube about it. I feel a little out of practice even though we're not. It's just not. this year is like killing me already. <laughs> <laughs> We've been busy a few weeks though. Um, yeah, my son's birthday party was yesterday. So, um, okay, so I am new to cross stitch though, like less new every single day. Um, and I'm a travel writer and I started cross stitching because Allison, who has been cross stitching forever, converted some of my photos to patterns and that got me excited about cross stitching. And how did you get into cross stitching? Um, I used to do it as a kid, but then when I came back to it, um, I wanted to, I guess, I was just feeling like making something different. I'm a multi-crafter, I like baking and stuff. So, um, I picked up cross stitch cause I wanted to make a, a present for my husband and then I really, I got really into this full coverage football field and I was like, what else can I do? So, <laughs> and then I did like several more football and, uh, sports themed cross stitches. So I don't have a lot of my own taste. So I'm really just, since you started cross stitching, I'm like learning what I like to cross stitch. Yeah. Not just like, not what just, can I make for my husband that lets me cross stitch? But that tells you, it's telling me like, I really love the act of yeah. doing it. I love the craft of doing it. So I'm. I'm really excited about finding out what I like to stitch. <laughs> so we are, this is floss tube number 10. Yay. Which is crazy. Sorry, Allison's cat is Frankie, is right here, Franklin, Frankie. And so at some point we're gonna yell at him to like stay off the wits, we'll find out um, how it goes. So we're gonna start off with thank yous and mentions. These are people who either we had mentioned in the past and then they like watched our videos and like interacted with us, which is so cool and like shouted us out on their channels. Or people who just like mentioned us out of the blue to be nice. And um, the one we had this week is somebody we talk about a lot, which is Jan Holder. So she, um, we're, she's joining our cell. We talk about her all the time. She's like, if you don't watch Hoop It Up With Jan, like you should. She does cross, she's cross stitched for decades and she cross stitches everything from like Mirabilia's to samplers to like full coverage dimension kits. She does everything. So the fact that she likes to watch our channel and like told people to watch us this time was is like so nice. So <laughs> she's great. She also will like enable all of your purchases. And then she was watching Julie and Stitches and she was messaging me about how Julie was enabling her to buy higher count fabric. And I'm like, I can't buy a 56 count fabric. I can barely see 40. 56. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> so it's just all a big circle oh, of like wow. enabling everyone. But we love oh, wow. Jan. Um, anybody we mentioned like so I'll list Jan in the description. Any floss tube or Etsy shop or anything we mention, it's all in the description. The descriptions on our videos are like super long because I do just list everything out. Um, so uh, that was the only mention that I had. And then I think every other mention, because now that we're hosting a couple of different stitch so, alongs, yeah. we're getting a lot of mentions, but I'm pretty sure everybody else that mentioned us was because they were joining the Princess Birthday Sal or gonna be doing the Beatles Sal with us. So, um, if I miss anyone, I apologize. Let me know. I'd be happy to go back. Like, but I think everyone, and I've watched a lot of those videos too, but I'm pretty sure everyone else is a Sal. Yeah. So, um, we do have some congratulations to give out. Uh, we like to congratulate people in the community for personal and professional achievements that they're excited about and share. If you have anyone you want to congratulate, DM us. Allison is Allison at the moment on Instagram. I am cross the globe because I started the this before Allison joined this, or before Allison and I started this floss tube. Um, so anyone you want to have us shout out on our next video for any reason, congratulations, let us know. These are the ones that I clocked this week. Um, Liz Matthews said that her Hello from Liz Matthews design business uh, turns four and the RC Housewife turned one and she had a sale and I purchased some things in the, that <laughs> sale. Um, so congratulations, some of our favorite designers. Yeah. Did you write anybody down? I did. Um, this one was Hillary Subpar Stitches got engaged. Oh, congratulations. congratulations. She's amazing. I love her stuff, so. Oh. That's good. Is that, did you have anybody else? Um, and then I wrote down Julian Stitches had one year floss tube in there, so. I wrote her down too. And there's actually a, like a lot of floss tubes are turning one right now. Yeah, there were more than that. Which is funny because we started watching floss tube last summer. So some of the people that turned one, I think of as being always around, but like they just turned one. So Chinook Crafter, who we love, Julian Stitches, Mod Cross, Cross Stitch Kate, and Antique Needleworkers are all turning one right now. And they're all channels that I check out every video. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, if you're looking for new uh, people to check out, they're going to be in the description and they're like a lot of different styles and there's something in there for everyone. And then Miriam from Marumi Crafts and Liz Elizabeth from Frizzy Lizzie Stitches had birthdays. So happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, all right. Did you have any FFOs? No, I didn't either. No, I'll FFOs. never have an FFO. Well, this channel, <laughs> I have a feeling we have a little, very little FFOs. Yeah. Because neither one of us enjoys finishing. No. And Down Frankie. Frankie's yeah. on the whips. <laughs> Um, come it's sit just, with us. I like, I like finished objects, but I like to take it to the framers, and that's. I do too. When I'm waiting for my a little framing budget, to yeah, come in. we need that uh, to grow. A little Maybe bit, we should so. start to buy me a coffee, and if people want to see our stuff in actual frames, <laughs> it's the only way it's gonna happen. So, um, did you have any but finishes? I have this week? three finishes. And one of them is really big. Okay, I'm gonna start with my favorite, okay. the large Yule Goddess. I'm so Yay! proud of you. This is so cool. Isn't it awesome? So tell us so about her. All I had to, left to do though, because I wanted, I was gonna try and finish it for the end of uh, 2023, but I didn't quite make it. So I really only had some fill in on her dress and some back stitching. And I see now that I forgot to back stitch one of the one of the spots. So okay, it's not quite a finish. No, but you'll, it's, you'll, a finish. That, it's a finish. It's a finish, and you just realized you made a mistake. You I just it. realized that there's a couple more strings. So. I think you finish a piece and then you look at it and you look at it, you look at it, and that's why I don't FFO. Um, because then you always find something. <laughs> that's a good excuse. We can make excuses all day. So tell us about the fabric. Okay, this is jalapeno by Fiber on a Whim. I think people have commented how like beautiful your fabric choice has been for this. Because it's it's similar, it's inspired it's by the called for, but it's not the called similar for. to the called for. So I really can't take credit for that. I, I saw the, the called for and it was so beautiful. But it's like a but great substitution for yeah. that called for. Yeah. So if it's, you want to stitch something. What count, Ada? This is a 16 count. It's so pretty. Yeah. By Pictureless Plus or Fiber on the One? Fiber on One. Okay. I always get those two confused for yeah. some reason. Look at her. She's glorious. Thank you. I'm so she proud of you. It only took me about six, no, eight weeks maybe. Yeah, you, you, know, you worked on it really hard and like, not monogamously at all, but like no. consistently. Yes. So I'm really happy that I have her. I I do want to get this one framed, but the budget is not there. Well, you don't and need I it also, up until Christmas. Yeah. So. I'm going to do a whole bunch of Christmas stuff yeah. and then frame them all at the same time so that they all go together. Yeah. And then th that's my plan. This year is going to be the year of Christmas stitching. Yeah. Yes. Allison has a sal with Katie the Peacock Stitcher. I'm joining in on it, but I'm not like consistently working on it, which is um, X Stitch Xmas 365. And so I know there's a lot of other Christmas sales out there, and we both ended up with a little bit of surprise Christmas haul. We'll yeah. share in haul. Yeah. But um, if you are somebody who likes to cross stitch Christmas and you want other people to like, like to inspire you and to inspire, use their hashtag X Stitch Xmas 365 and tag Allison. You can tag me too because the the hashtags are working. Yeah, and then we can see it, we can share it, we can all have fun. So that'll be fun. Okay, finish number two. I think I'll be stitching, or no, not I'll be stitching. Uh, the owl stitcher is joining with ornaments. Yes. Well, I didn't know she's doing it for. There are two. She. There are two uh, hashtags going. She's using it, our hashtag, and there is another one that's. Something um, else that's like Christmas all year. I know there's one too that's like 12 Merry Months, which is, um, oh, that's the Stitchy Buddy. Um, oh, and I love the Stitchy Buddy. But I haven't watched her video yet announcing it, so I don't know if that's like a specific. I think that's just pull out Christmas whips all year, but I don't 100% know. But you should always just watch the Stitchy okay, Buddy. So I will be great. working on 12 Days of Christmas all year. I will be working on ornaments all year. I have several kitted uh, Christmas pictures I will be working all year. So I will do all the hashtags. It will be so fun. And I said, um, I said, I called her the owl stitcher, like the peacock stitcher. It's oh, the, no. stitching the stitching owl. owl. Yeah. yeah. I was like, no, that's not right. That and I've seen right. it written a million times. I was like, I got to look this up. And she, yeah, she is one. And she's supporting our channel and we love her channel. So definitely go check her out too. And I love the music portion at the end of She's a piano teacher. Um, Wonderful. It's just a super cute dog. Yes. Okay. So this is my second finish. Ta -da. Yay. This is same fabric, fiber on a whim. Uh, jalapeno, 16 count. It's like washing this one out in a way it didn't wash out Yule Goddess, which is kind of weird to That's me. interesting. Um, this is Tiny Modernist uh, Winter Deer. I got it from the 2023 Christmas, no, Jingle Ball 
Bobbles. Bobbles book. Yeah. yeah. And I thought I had extra fabric, so I was like, these are going to go together. I don't know if it's going to be a very small picture or an ornament yet. It's so so cute. Still, still thinking on it's that so one. So classic, like, Rudolph special. Don't TV they just special. go? Don't they go together, though? Yeah, that is something that's nice about using... I like to mix designers, not that I decorate with any of them because the only FFO in my house is my own design. But when you're stitching different designers and seeing like what goes together, but if you go for one designer, they just mm -hmm. have a style that can I know. carries through. It's so great. Like just even having colors that work good on this fabric. It's yeah. just a very specific style. It like I wouldn't stitch a prairie school on that like, fabric, but Tiny no, Modernist looks amazing on that it fabric. It does. Like this isn't the called for. It's, it was on just like a white, white yeah. yeah, or an ivory or something. Uh, but I knew it, it looked good so on good on that. Yes. You got to put that on Instagram and tag her so she can see it. Oh, I think I did. I, might I don't have. remember. I might have. I will if I did not. Um, I know, I know I've seen it on Instagram, like, but I don't know if you like were like, I haven't finished. And then <laughs> tagged her so she could be like, oh, it's so cute. Because <laughs> the designers don't always see when they're tagged and stuff, but when they yeah. do, it's extra nice. Yeah. Well, I'll do that. I'll make sure I do that. And your third finish. My third finish has been missing in action for a few weeks. So if you remember, if you saw our whip parade, there was a whip where Allison couldn't show the whip because it was lost. And she found it. I found it. And I did him. And he's great. And this is December from a year of, uh, a prayer year. And um, I. So his beard is disappearing in the camera. It doesn't I'm disappear on the fabric that. as much. I'm thinking I might backstitch it now that I am. On the fabric, you can see it. Because it's ivory to white, but in the camera, it's gone. It's totally gone. I think But I'm that like happens, I think, it. to a lot of weight. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet. I have the turkey done. I've, so I've November, December, and I might do the rest of the months. I like most of them. But I don't know what I'm going to do with them, and I'm not stitching them together. So maybe little tiny pillows. Yeah, should she backstitch the beard? or is this, I, but I, think in, I think in person it doesn't disappear because the light catches that it's different textures. I know, but uh, it's just like not going to show on the camera, but you're not finishing it for the camera anyway. I know, but now now that I've seen that, it's hard to unsee the fact that you can't that happened, see it. That happened to me with my prairie explorer too. I'm like, in person, I feel like I can see the white yeah. on the camera can, but I'm like, is there even white in this <laughs> So, okay. Those are my finishes. Yay. Yay. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. I don't have any finishes. No finishes. No. And okay. I probably... No, I will have a finish hopefully next week. I, I definitely don't have any finishes now. Okay. Because I got to a point where I was like, do I want to finish something or do I want to keep going with my schedule? And then the piece I thought like I could finish this, I got totally sick of. Yeah. Which I'll start talking about you, to you guys later. But. Well, um, that was the last of the ones that were close yeah. for a while. So there will not be future finishes. For All right. Well, bit. then you can keep going because do you have any new starts? Okay. I do have a new start. So um, I have, well. Did I even get it out? I don't think I even got it out. Oh, I did. It's behind me. <laughs> <laughs> if you can oh, guess oh, 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 oh. what this <laughs> is. I was like, what is this? Oh, wait. No, I know what this yeah. is. Yeah. This is um, Cinderella Wishes Upon a Star, and it's the Thomas Wishes Upon a Dream. Wishes Upon a Dream. Yeah. Which, you. Um, I know because I read the title like a hundred million times oh, okay. during our video. It's Cinderella like Wishes Upon a Dream. Sorry. Um, it's the Thomas Kincaid um, Disney kit. And I started it for my birthday. Awesome. Um, this side is up, obviously. <laughs> um, it doesn't matter because this is going away. This is 18 count, plain, plain white Ada. And we, we, I started it, but I'm using the kit, fa or the kit threads. And this is the kit fabric. It's two, two over one. And it's just too, it's too thick. So you know what's interesting? So if you haven't seen it, which the video actually did, like, normally our extras don't do as well as our FlossTube episodes, but we're, like, okay with that because we, like, we want to have room to talk about things without these videos getting to be, like, three hours long. So we did an entire video about that, about her unboxing this kit and, and talking about, like, the kits and, like, talking about the prices of the kits and how some of them are $1,500 kits, which is not the one that this, this is not a $1,500 kit. Um... So, and the video did really well. We got a lot of comments about people because we talked about, you know, like it's a size 24 needle and that seems a little strange on 18 count fabric and stuff. And there were a lot of interesting comments that were just different people's pre preferences. So mm -hmm. Nikki Stitchy said that she likes using, I, I, wanted, I think it was her said, she liked using like the bigger needles on the smaller count Ada. Whereas like for me, once an Ada starts to feel like a 30 count, I want to switch to a smaller needle. And I switched to a smaller needle recently on a 14 count Ada 
just because the Ada was so stiff. It mm -hmm. like every time I got, a, I was like, it was hurting my hand to have that much friction. So I switched to a size 26 needle for a 14 count Ada. Mm -hmm. So it's just totally preference, but yeah. um, it was interesting. And then we um, referenced uh, Liz Disney Craft Girl. Mm -hmm. And she watched the video and messaged me. Oh, wait. And she had lots of, like, she answered some of our questions that we had in the video and had lots of interesting things to say because she owns every single one of these kits. And she founded, she has a lot of videos on her channel about it, which we did reference. And we kept saying, like, go to the Facebook group, go to the Facebook group. She she founded that Facebook group. She doesn't run it day to day because she just it doesn't have time to do a lot of this stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. But, she's, but um, she said, if you ever want to, like, get on a Zoom, we could do a video later. And I said, yeah, when you get into this. Okay. Let's do a follow-up video where we talk about like, but you'll know, you'll be more of an expert on the stitching process of it. Yeah. And can, that'll be more interesting than if we did it like tomorrow or something. Yeah. But, um, definitely check if you're interested in these kits, definitely check out the Facebook group, which we'll link, which is Thomas Kikaid Cross Stitch Runs, I think is the name of it. Um, and also, um, uh, follow her on Instagram because she's got a lot of information about these. But, so, so you started that on on the video, mm -hmm. and this is the last time we'll see it like this, because <laughs> I immediately turned around and bought Easy Count um, graded sixteen count Ada, because it's more of my jam with the coverage wise. It's just it was too thick. It was too thick. I needed I need more space. I thought about like those like di dimensions kits and stuff that use like three or four strands in some places and two another. So I was like. I like the picture, but I probably would not do, I think I know my stitching style enough now, you know your stitching style enough now to be like, this doesn't work for me, yeah. even if it's these are in the direction. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about that when it comes to confetti later. I'm ditching some confetti and some pieces. <laughs> I'm just like, we'll not be stitching that. Okay. <laughs> Personal preference. Yeah. That's fine. Um, so that was my new start. Ooh. Do you have any other new starts? I don't think so. Okay. You have I, hear, I have a lot of starts. Yay. I can't remember because I didn't start any of my... You, okay, so that was your second princess piece and you'd already started your first princess yes. piece. Okay, so I, I had showed you guys my last princess piece should have been a start, but it really was plans. But then in the video, I said it was. I said we had two princess starts. Oh, not that you can tell. So this is uh, my start for Mirabilly Cinderella. And I have the paper Ooh. pattern. I'm... Um, not pulling my patterns out before I show them today because uh, I can't, today I cannot mentally deal with having to put them back. So I'll be showing them in my binder. So this binder has all my, pa all the patterns. So I have, uh, obviously I have more than binders than just this of paper patterns, but this binder has all of the patterns that I own that are like current whips, whips. or kits that will be started this year. So that I can just bring one set over. So this is uh, Mirabilia Cinderella. And what I stitched was the entire bar at the top that goes from this end to this end before it changes. So there's like a little detail on each side of like ribbons that come in before you get to the corner. So where that ribbon starts, I just stitched the whole thing because I haven't scanned this pattern yet to make a working copy. Um, and what I like to do for my Mirabilia is, so normally for a paper pattern, I'll just scan it on a scanner pull it into markup XP, and you can usually get it to work easy. That even works for my Nora Corbett's that are like um, patterns like this that are like individual pages. But for the big Mirabilia patterns, because everyone who's seen one, they're like this big. They're so stupid. Mm -hmm. I take them to FedEx and I have them scan them. But then those scans don't work very well in markup XP. And so those are the only patterns that I use in Good Notes. So, which I'm fine with. I kind of actually like it. Now I've kind of gotten in my rhythm of like, oh, it's a Mirabilia, I'll go into good notes. Like, and then I just stitch and I mark it by just tapping because you can like with my finger to mark the spot. And then I go back later and I count how many stitches I did because every time I open it, I change the color that I'm marking for that day. So like I'll count all the pink stitches or the next day I'll count all the blue stitches. It like works for me. I don't know if it would like, it just works for me, it's fine. But for this, I didn't have a scan, so I, could, I didn't want to do a middle start. I, I just wanted to do a section that I knew I could do a lot of stitching without needing to mark anything. So I just counted how long the section is of the top border because this the border is literally just a row of brown, three stitches of green, and a row of brown. So as long as the counting was on, it was going to be fine to not have the pattern out. And so it is 72 stitches across, like 
Um, no, it's not 72 stitches across. It's 72 stitches, like each direction for the middle. I, this is 720 stitches, basically. So I did that every day. I think it took me like five days, but it wasn't the only thing I worked on for five days. But that's my Cinderella star. I'm really happy with it because I feel like once I get the two like corners out, I, th I think I want to do the border first before I get into the castle and her dress on this one because I'm... You want to make sure. I'm working on other fancy ladies. And so it's kind of like nice to be in the dress in one and in the oh. border, you know, like, so you're not just stitching like yeah. 10 gowns. I whatever. want to make sure the border matches up before you start sewing. And the a way that border girl. works, like it kind of gets... Like you could stitch her pretty easily, even if you were off like five stitches in oh, any direction. Yeah. For the castle. Um, as long as her and the castle weren't a problem. Yeah. But I think just for, it's a very easy stitching. And actually I have found where I am in all my Mirabilia to be pretty easy, fun, like peaceful stitching. I like all of them. Nice. Whereas like samplers and stuff like, it may look easier because it's not like, there's not as much stitching, but it might be like 10 colors and like a one inch block. Whereas everywhere I am stitching my Mirabilia so far, it's like big patches of color. Like you just have to make sure your counting is on because you have to count around like bead spots and stuff. So that's my first princess start. And that one got, um, I, I did track, so I've been tracking how many stitches I do a day, but I decided to track how many stitches I do on each project and, and mention that. So that's 720 stitches. So I'm happy with it. And it's just on the called for. I like it. Which is like, really I wanna say it's like smoky. Pearl or something. It's literally on the call for. It's one of the only Mirabilia, this might be the only Mirabilia I did on the call for. And it's because I like how French and old it looks on the blue in the pattern. Mm -hmm. So I didn't do it on anything special. All right, and she lives, I do have to put things away as I go because otherwise it'll become a nightmare. Um, she lives in my Cinderella bag from Jasmine's Custom Bags, which you guys have seen before. She's just getting stitched with a key stamp, which is not super exciting. All right, my second princess start got 600 stitches. And this, it doesn't look like 600 stitches, but it is. Um, this is, I just started because I did a top left start and it's an eight by 10 full coverage. Mm. It's like not super exciting and I'm yeah. not to the castle yet or anything. This is the Palace of Sintra. And this is scheduled to get 200 more stitches this month, so I'm not gonna get out of the sky this month. But you can see the picture, it's based on like a, one of my original travel photo photographs from Centra, which is a palace in Portugal. You can see the picture here. And then this is my progress. I, um, so this month it'll get 200 more because I have like a certain amount of stitches that I've allotted that go towards new starts. And so I'm like, this is getting 800 and that Cinderella is getting 800 this month. Um, then after that, it'll just go into my normal rotation of, I try to do 200 stitches in my own patterns every day. And so some days I'll pull this out instead of whatever small I'm working on. Cause that small might be bothering me. <laughs> if the small is bothering me, then this will get pulled out instead. Gotcha. Um, and, uh, I'm out of Q snaps. I would prefer to stitch this on a Q snap, but I'm out of Q snaps. So I'm using, um, cause like a full coverage, my brain wants a Q snap. Really? Um, so I'm stitching this in a duchess hoop. Which, or just as oh, well, I should have pulled out a princess one just for the theme, but I don't have any uh, free princess. Yeah. Um, and then this, is, I'm experimenting Beautiful. with floss drops because I think, I think floss drops will work better for me. Um, I did get some of the Adam Hart thread bobbin floss drops, but I, I didn't have them when I kitted this project up yet. So these are just the Lori Holt yeah. floss drops, but you can use alcohol to rubbing alcohol to clear them. So it's not like you only use them for Once. one project if you write the number on it. But yeah. this is the palette, the palette of the palace because it's so yellow and so many different shades of yellow. How do people keep them from getting frayed edges, like ends? I don't know. Well, I mean, mostly because I think it just is going to sit in this bag. Yeah. Um, this is a bag by the 805 Stitcher, which I really love. And it has a matching needle minder. It's hedgehogs. Very cute. Um, so that's my second new start. I had four new starts. So um, those two got a lot of progress for me for a month. Um, but the next start, two starts don't have that much. So the next one is Candy. I posted about this on my Instagram account. So Kat from Whittier Stitchers, Stitches saw that there was like a need in the stitching community for fancy ladies that were curvy. 
because other than like moon, there's a few Nora Corbett's that are curvier um, and lavender and lace, most of them aren't curvy, but with the corsets, it's harder to tell. <laughs> yeah. But for the most part, most fancy ladies are not like, you know, that body inclusive. So she found this tattoo artist that she really likes who's out of Shreveport named Erin Culpepper. And I've been to Shreveport. I have a weird affinity for Shreveport. So um, that kind of perked my interest too. Because Kat lives in East Texas, so she goes to Shreveport for a lot of things because it's closer than a lot of Texas cities. Um, so he start, he did this first design called Candy, and it's based on his wife. So the pattern is free because they want to test and see if people like these patterns before they like build up a whole business around it. And then also because it's based on his wife, he didn't want to charge people for a pattern based on the time of his wife. So the, the pattern has like a mythology and stuff that's very cute, you can read about it, but I just really liked the picture. Oh, I love it. And um, she gave away a kit on her Instagram for it. I did not win it, but that's I okay because I already like had kind of gotten it mostly kitted from Stash. I, I, did, I kitted it up last night, I'm missing. Oh, this is the first project I put on Out of Heart Thread Bobbins. So these bobbins are the ones that like people talk about, uh, the museum sister talks about these a lot where when you're done with your project, you can wrap up the thread and put it in a bobbin box because they're, they, um, but they're very thick. They're thicker than normal. <laughs> He's going to attack your He's threads. Like, no. <laughs> so this is the palette, but I am missing 13 colors, but look at all those yellows and greens. So I'll show the picture here, the pattern here, which I haven't shown yet, but it only went live. Um, it was gonna go live this morning at midnight. And I was like, I asked her, like, I asked Kat if I could have a copy of the thread list so I could pull my thread so I could start her because I wanted to start her before today. Because mm -hmm. I was like, I knew I wanted to stitch her and I wanted it to be a start. Um, and because I had this fabric and stashes up. And she was really nice and sent me the pattern like a few hours early so I could start it last night. This is so pretty. Um, I'm stitching her with a, this is a Gibbs manufacturing company. So these are the same people that do the Princess Vintage and the Dutch Adventures hoops, so but this is a spring which means it came out a little later. And right now she's living in this 805 Stitcher Prairie bag, which I really like. So but I just, I think this pattern's really cool and I like the idea that, yes, like I was put, I like Mirabilia's, but like I talked about in my Nora November video, I was 100% put off at first by how skinny, skinny some of those girls are. And it was only once I saw Moon Glow, which is a more body positive version, but then I could go back into and be like, okay, and also I might want to stitch some of the other ones too. Yeah. So I'm excited about it. I don't know how much like stitching she'll get on a regular basis because she wasn't part of my plans. I don't like my plans are very full and she wasn't part of it, but I really like it. So I, I will probably it. try to fit in. Yeah. And she's not on my whip go or anything. So I'm going to try to fit it in, but it, she's only 15,000 stitches, which makes her comparable to a Nora Corbett design, not a Mirabilia. So it's not like... You know, it's, it's not like taking on a 40, yeah. 50, 60,000 stitch Mirabilia. And the pattern's free. So, and it's charted in DMC with one Krennic and Mill Hill beads. So I'm going to try to get the DMC done and then I'll get the beads and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, so I'll, I'll probably went for a long time because I don't have like... Plans. Plan, like tons of time to stitch her. But I... Maybe I'll just pull her out whenever I like really want to stitch but don't want to stitch anything than I'm supposed to be stitching and where I like might get nothing this done. Is this is cheating. Like, yeah, like this is cheat, cheat day stitching. Cheat day. All right, and then my last um, start, start uh, is Southern Seas Beauty by Al Force Embroidery. That's so pretty. Oh, I didn't mention, um, the candy fabric. So I have stitching her on Dusk by Picture This Plus. The Call Force Mystic, which is more of a navy. Mine's a very dark navy that's a lighter navy, but I still. It's, they're both beautiful. Yeah. Um, but that's what I had in stash. And then yeah. Centra is on 14 count white data. Um, so uh, this is 32 count under, no, this is 32 count Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers in the color, do you see what I see? Um, but so, okay, so for this, this is for my son. We talked last time about how I bought the pattern from Al Forest. It's like a little last minute Al Forest haul, but I decided since I'm stitching Cinderella, for our birthday style, but also for my daughter that I should stitch something for my son. Mm -hmm. And he loves like the ocean. So I'm gonna change, you can see the pattern here. I'm gonna change the woman to look, I think once you change the hair, the body shape looks feminine because you think it's a woman. 
but I don't think it actually has feminine features. So I think once I change the hair to a boy's hair, like it won't breed like a boy or like a girl. Um, and it's only 6,000 stitches. So I'm going to try to get it done because I already tried to stitch L4 on Friday. So I'm going to try to prioritize this amongst my L4. And last night I just grabbed this um, Duchess uh, hoop, but this is the one that like my loosest one that really needs some tape, some tape on it. So I just wanted to get one strand in. I don't have the call for, which are the variegated Althoris floss. Like I didn't buy the thread pack for it. But then I realized I actually do have a lot of the colors in other thread packs that I bought from him, from them. Um, because I bought thread packs for 28 count, two over two, and then I switched a lot of the Althoris pieces to higher counts in one strand. So I took one of the white packs from a different pattern. Mm. So this actually is the call for white. I just borrowed it from another pattern because I don't think any of the Alphorce that I borrow I'm going to run out of like between switching those on smaller on higher count fabrics and then the fact that you don't really need a full one of these they're pretty generous mm -hmm. so these are the two other Alphorce that are called for that I had in stash that I'm borrowing from other projects it's orange and yellow is very variegated yeah and it's um I have this in two other projects so between the three of them I should be fine on and then for the rest of the colors, I have, I have not settled on a color for every color that's in there. I think I'm going to have to go through my silk collection to find like a good yellow. But um, the blues in the pattern, I'm going to do a mix of this light and this dark and just choose where it goes. That's pretty. And then those are Mohs Sale. I dropped something. <laughs> um, for the red, I chose a chili pepper from Classic Color Works because I had an extra skein of it from some artsy housewife. Um, I guess I bought, I don't know. I don't understand how I have, and there's a couple extra closet color works that I don't understand how I have because I already, I guess I, did I not drop something? I don't know. We'll find it later. <laughs> Cause I'd already kitted up all the RC housewife patterns and I had some extra, I'm like, I don't know how, but it's fine. Um, uh, Wisteria Vines from Fiberlicious Semi Fibers. So these are all cotton over dyes. I didn't go into my silk stash just to see what was my variegated silks to see what else for the pink uh this is petal from most sale and then this green is um from most sale but it's like a no name so we'll see how it goes i really like it oh and it lives uh cat from one of your stitches made this uh so cute. Bag. you'll see another she made me mermaid. two with the same fabric i'm obsessed with it so this is perfect for this project yeah. and the other one is perfect for the project that that is in. yeah so those are my new and those are my new starts. Those are your new starts, yay! Oh, I feel like I just talked about that. Okay, I'm glad it's not my turn. All right, <laughs> what are your whips, sissy? Okay, I have two whips. So the first is uh, we already mentioned um, the cross stitch Christmas sow that we're doing. So this is Tiny Modernist, Twelve Days of Christmas. Oh, that's so cute. Um, I'm doing one square a month, and I decided to start in January. I started it on December 21st, but I'm counting wise my month of January is day one. Okay. So December will be day 12. So, so I am, this is a finish for now and next month I'll do two and I'll probably try and finish off the banner. Um, yeah. Cross stitch, X stitch, Xmas 365. Here's the hashtag. That's the hashtag. So, and he's so cute. And if you wanted to know, like, does Allison own every tiny modernist Christmas pattern? She does not. So, like, feel free to send. Oh, yeah. You can send more. <laughs> you got, like, some extra tiny modernist Christmas sitting around your house. You already it's just, did it. It's so good. You love it. It's and it's so, so good. Your style. I like a lot of them. Like, I would send yeah. a lot of them. But I'm not going to have to because I'm just going to come over here and, like. They'll all be done. They'll be up. So, I won't need to. <laughs> There's another one I'm going to buy. So. Which one? There, she, this is the 2016 oh. one, but there's the 2023 one that just came out last season. And I'm going to get that one too, but I'm I'm not doing the no new starts or no buying or anything like that. But I do personally feel like I have enough whips going on and I want to wait to finish some of them before I start. So that's one of my whips and my other one. Oh, did you see the pattern? What it's supposed to look like? There we go. <laughs> And then this is um, Cinderella number one, or number one Cinderella by Brooks, Brooks Books Publishing. I got it off Etsy. 
Uh, just had a sale on these two. He might be still running it. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, ooh. I didn't tell you because I was like, Allison doesn't need this. I don't. In my life. <laughs> I don't need more. But I like this so much that I probably will, will do, do more. more of them. Um, I'm thinking. But I was like, it'll just stress you out if I tell you that she's having a sale. Right yeah, now. no, I don't need anything right now because I know I will do some later so when I'm ready. ready. But um, this is how far I've gotten. I did start it um, a couple weeks ago, so um, and I, I started down here. I was probably somewhere right here last time. But I feel like I've gotten a lot done. It looks really beautiful. I didn't buy the Chronic yet, so I'm, once I finish all the regular DMC, I'm just gonna pause until February when I can order the Chronic. <laughs> and then I'll start again on this Oh, time. why don't we do a uh, one, two, three, stitch order together and split the shipping because I also need Chronic. Oh, you do? Okay. Um, I need Chronic for candy. Cause I'm not gonna order the Chronic for like a. I've ordered the Chronic for a lot of things, but I'm not gonna order the beads. But I should do at least when I get the Chronic for yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I didn't order it because I thought, oh, that's gonna take me forever to stitch. But then now I, I think you're gonna be done with this in like three weeks. So do I. Um, if I kept going at this pace, this is one of my only PDF ones. Because you were I know. working so hard on your goddess. Yeah. And now this is your what you're yeah. working so hard on. Yeah. And you're saving that Cinderella piece for like a super secret project. TV, that, subscribe if you want to know more. Right, for real. Um, so it's going to be switching to that. What are you even going to, like, let's say you had to stop this tomorrow and work on other things. What would you work on? Um, next, when I'm finished with this, I'm going to do my anniversary stitch. Oh, start to finish. Right. Which is uh, Satsuma Street. Holy Glow. Holiday Glow. Holiday Glow. It's so cute. She Holiday started glow. it. She started it already. Yeah. I don't remember if it was our last lawsuit. It was on my anniversary, so it was, I started it on December 26th. Yeah. So. You've seen it, but I haven't gotten much done since then, so I'm gonna pull that out when I'm done with this, or when I have to put this down this and is so wait pretty. for the chronic to come in. But I love the colors. The colors are perfect Cinderella. I love it. I don't remember what the call for was, but it's like a neutral, I think. So one thing we did, we've talked a lot about the Princess Cell. We haven't actually reminded people that if it's not too late to join it. So we're using hashtag, hashtag Princess Birthday Sal. A lot of people who have tagged us in videos, which I will actually pull out the list of oh, now. Yeah, they have. Um, it's, they've been tagging us because they've been showing their progress on the sale in their videos. So here are some people to check out. Um, I'm going to read them in a minute. But if you want to join us, the, the deal, we have a whole video on our channel about it that are going to be linked in the description. But basically, all you need to do is pick a princess themed pattern. It can be as loosely princess as you want. Somebody's doing Princess Peach. Somebody's doing like Princess from... Um, like Sailor Moon, somebody's doing... Um, pattern that just yeah. is by Princess. Yeah, yeah. by Stitchy Princess Black. Yeah. So there's no, like, um, there's no, uh, like, it's not strict. You just pick a Princess pattern that, Frankie's here, that you want to do. And then, technically we said start in January, but if you start in February or March or April, we're going to be stitching, I'm going to be stitching that Mirabelle Princess for four years. So <laughs> start anytime. And then just tag us, Allison at the moment, and cross us to the globe so we see it because, and then use the hashtag Princess Birthday Sal. And the Oki Stitcher, and then Stitching Jet, Sarah from Stitching Jet, Stitches and Spookies, um, have all joined Peacock Stitcher, uh, E from Queen Bee Crafts. They have all joined and I think have talked about it on their videos. Chanute Crafter has joined. I don't think she's shown it on her video yet, but she probably will show it on her next video. And there's a, oh, Ali Z from Ali Z is Crafty has there's joined. Several but people just does Ali doesn't make as many videos as I want to see. I want <laughs> Ali to make a video every single day. <laughs> I would watch a 10 minute video from Ali every day. That would be so fun. Just like this is what I stitched today. I'd watch it. Um, but there's a lot more people. I've been shocked and like excited by how many people have joined in. It's yeah. been super fun. Allison's buying all the patterns you guys use. So, that, so, <laughs> so you've enabled her Who quite knows? well. Who knows how many I'll end up with. So there we go. Yay. That's your only whip whip because you finished everything else. Yes. Right. Yep. Okay. Well, got, let's I see got, your whips. I got more than that. Oh. <laughs> so oh. I have um, nine whips. Okay. Okay. But we're going to go in order of like most to least stitches. So um, the two that got the most are my two whip go calls for the month. So this is Coffee and Eggs by the Artsy Housewife. You can see the original pattern here. And this has actually gotten like significant stitching for me. This has gotten um, 1,200 stitches. And this was one of my two whip go calls. 
What I did was I finished the red in the dress, added the brown in the dress, which looks yellow to me, but it is a brown. Did her legs, and then I wanted, really wanted to get her shoes done for today, <laughs> but it just didn't happen. Like, that night I was like, I have to get up. And then she yesterday... Looks like she's had a night. Well, yesterday she I wanted one. to start canyon. I wanted to start... Um, uh, the scuba diver piece, and I just didn't have more time than that. With the fact we also had, it was my son's birthday, so it was like, she just doesn't have her shoes. <laughs> so, she's gonna get her shoes. Um, Marjorie, um, from Marjorie made um, her pick a whip prompt that she put out today is like stitch on something with your favorite color. I was already gonna be stitching this a lot because um, this is a Whipco call, and between it's the stitches it's supposed to get every week and Whipco, it's supposed to get twenty three hundred stitches in January, and I'm on pace to it. But red is my favorite color. If you can't tell, like her lipstick and my lipstick are the same. Um, so it helped me figure out, cause I was like, well, once I'm done with her, where do I go next? This is a giant red coffee mug. So I'm just gonna go right to that coffee mug. And it just like made the decision fatigue. Like, okay, no, I'm just going to the coffee mug. That's it, that's what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> and this is stitched on um, 28 count baked clay by Foxy Rabbit. The called for is a higher count, but um, this is what was in stock when I did the pattern and I'm using all the called for floss. She lives in this fox bag from Carrie Sews for you. The, the, um, and I actually have a floss ring for her cause I, uh, so she's, uh, all classic color works, general arts. Um, and a couple weeks, I'm not going to be using weeks going forward, but I already bought them. And then uh, a couple DMC. So, I love her. I'm sad that she's 25% done. <laughs> I don't need her to be done ever. But then you could put her on the wall. Yeah, I mean, this is one where it's like, okay, when she gets finished, I will put her up faster than yeah. others. But also, like... We should start the framing fund. Yeah. And her yeah. eggs, like, I'm saving the eggs to her last because they're white and I just don't want to do them and then feel like they're stained or whatever. Mm -hmm. So there's white eggs and white butterflies. They are going to go up less. Um, and the RC housewife, I bought... In haul, I bought one pattern from her from her sale even though I have a ton of her stuff kitted up, but it was just like too cool. And then um, she showed a preview of stuff she's releasing at market and I'm like, take my money. Like <laughs> the nice thing about her is like, if you buy PDFs from her shop, she just have enough regular sales. You can usually get it like a little bit off or like if you buy from her, then the next time you can get like 10% off or whatever. And um, if you don't want paper patterns, if you like PDFs, uh, she will release PDFs in her Etsy shop on a delay after market, but probably before you literally get the market releases. Cause it's like you order something, you order something from a shop that's getting at market. It still takes some time to get it. Um, so if you really want a PDF, just wait and, and follow her on Etsy and they will go up. And I watched her last floss too, which was really good too. I just like her. She's just like a calming spirit. <laughs> um, all right, this is my next whip go call. This is Fairy Flora. From Mirabilia. This is, um, ooh, she got 700 stitches. So I'm just like adding. So, okay, so a couple weeks ago, I came up here and I tried to be up here and I tried to be like smart and I got stuck. And Marissa from M Kiss and Create, Create, Creates or Creations, I always confuse that in my head, but Marissa shared in her most recent floss stream. The third rule of cross stitch when she got this rule from Cozy Egg. Did you see this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't ever get cocky. So Don't I got cocky, cocky and I Jared was over has here. been quoting her all day. <laughs> all day. We went we went driving to the grocery store on the snow and he's like, Don't get cocky. <laughs> so I was up here, I got cocky, and I had to frog a bunch of stitches. You guys saw that last time. So all I'm doing now is I'm I'm coming over to the side doing a layer, then I'm coming up and having the other side of that layer so they meet down here. And I'm not going to come back up here until all of the layers down here are done. So it's not very It'll difficult. It'll be fun. <laughs> it's very easy stitching. It's like, okay, I feel like, oh, I'm pulling out this complicated mirabilia, but I'm doing 200 stitches of the same color in a very easy, like, U shape. So it's, like, not complicated yet. It's going to get more complicated, but, like, right now it's, like, in an easy place. The dress, I think, is looking so good. This is on 28 Count Earth from Fiber on a Whim. And I started this as the Fairy Flora Retirement Cell with um, Rachel from Licking Floss and then Sarah from Memphis Sarah E joined us. I don't believe either of the two of them are actively working on her at this moment um, because Rachel from Licking Floss had to go down, like she had to put some of her whips 
away yeah. for safety. <laughs> I think it was because of her little kids, which I I feel I t- you I probably I, can. Run. I DM'd her. I was right like, there. my son got macaroni on Fairy Flora. Oh. Yeah, but it was like over here, so oh. it was like I, I like panicked, and then I was like, wait, okay, okay. <laughs> but anyway, and um, Sarah has like my husband or something. So cheese on one of my. Friday. On like a finished. On a finished. On a fully finished. And that's project. why even if you don't like glass on a project, you should put glass on your project. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. Um, but uh they have both worked on her in the past and will again in the future. So if you like Searing Fair at Flora, it's really pretty. Definitely. And also just they have great channels, check them out anyway. So I love her. She is my other webcode goal, so she's also getting twenty three hundred stitches this month. Sitting on my lap. <laughs> Oh, she lives in this uh, Ouija bag from Jen's Custom Bags. And she has my favorite hoop, which is probably why I do like to do her more. This my big, my big princess level. Um, all right. Who is next? Oh, I actually missed one because the one I have that has the actual most stitches is one I didn't have you iron, so it's in a different pile. Oh, so... <clears throat> My Grand Teton National Park got almost 1,500 stitches, but some of them were ripping out colors and replacing them. So this is... Oh, that looks so good. I know. It, oh, so this is based so on this travel photo. And so um, I once this is done, I'm going to make... Then I'm going to stop, stop stitching so much and spend some of my stitching time getting my shop open because then I'll have four finished designs that I'm, but I want to get this one done That's first. That's exciting. So, um, what happened with this one is I got, I would, before I was just in the sky. And so since the last time you guys saw it, I got into the mountain and I realized the mountain is bluer than I thought. Like in my head, I thought it would be gray. And so the fact that the sky was such a bright blue wouldn't be a problem. Well, the mountain is very blue. And so this section and this section of the sky it was like these two sections being this like teal turquoise it made it very hard to see where the mountain was and i was like do i add back stitching i don't want to do that and i also don't want to figure out how to i, I know how to put back stitching onto pattern instructions but i don't want to do that so i just like one day i just got my seam ripper out and i got my big girl pants on and i just ripped out 200 <laughs> stitches and that was painful but it's like it's my design so yeah. it's like you i want to put out a design i don't like right that's so good. That fixed the problem because yeah. now you can tell where the mount is still like going to look when you take a photograph and you make it this small and you reduce it to like 35 colors. It's still going to look like an impressionist painting. The goal is not to look pixelated. The goal is to look impressionistic. Um, and as I model stitch my own designs, I can see like where it looks more pixelated and I can make changes as they go. Mm -hmm. So there's some blue spots that ended up down in the trees that I'm going to remove and change to the color of the trees and stuff. So I finished with the sky and I finished with the mountain and now I'm down in the trees. Um, I started the trees down here with this like light ecru -y. It's not ecru, but it's like an ecru-esque color. But yeah, so <clears throat> I feel like I'm further along than I am because I actually have like... I want to say, let's see what percentage I have left. It's way, it's like in my heart, I'm done with this piece and I am not <laughs> like my heart says, Oh, Stephanie, you're basically done. And, um, Pat, uh, markup says, no, you're 56% done. You have a lot left, but I, I really am hoping that my goal is to have this one finished by the next time, which I know I keep saying, but like, this is just, I just ended up stopping and doing holiday stitching and not focusing on my designs, but now it's time. And the, because I got through some issues I was having with this, now it's like super fun again. Yeah. Um, I also think for stitching my own designs, I just need to have two or three going at a time. Yeah. Because it's like, well, if I don't want to stitch this tonight, I can pick up Centra. Um, I just totally lost my train of thought. Anyway, but if I had two or three of these going at once and one was bothering me, I would make more consistent progress as yeah. opposed to like putting it down and then picking it back up later. It lives in this camping bag from Pretty Southern. Which I love. All right, my next one is Moon Glow. Now, she was supposed to get 400 stitches. She only got about 350 for a couple reasons. So I finished, this is, first of all, this is 28 Count Paranormal by Miss Stitch Me. And I'm stitching this with Elizabeth from Savory Sewing and Allie from Allie's Crafty. It is our Moonglow Magic Sal. 
a bunch of other, not like a bunch, but like three or four other people have joined us that are on floss too. If you want to join us, you should, because I love this pattern. It's been super fun. So what I did this time was I, I had gotten the black down here, well, the bluish outline done down here, but I hadn't finished these green leaves. So I finished the green leaves. Then I came up here to do the white. I hate doing this white. What? I'm going to do the white last. I hate the counting. I hate the stopping and starting, but I equally hate how it looks when I don't stop and start because I can see it uh -huh. very prominently through. Uh -huh. And so I had done some like individual confetti stitches down here and I just hate the way they look. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do is I am going to save the white for last and that way I'm not counting off the white or anything. I'm just, I'm going to count, but if I have a counting error, as long as it looks good, it's the last thing on there. So it's fine. I'm eliminating the individual confetti stitches. I don't like how they look and I don't think that they add anything to the piece other than like, yeah, like it's a little bit busier, but like I think it'll be fine with just, if I feel like it's missing something, I'll just do a bead or something there instead. Um, so instead I came down here and I, I did what I didn't want to do, which was make the big counting jump from here to here. Mm. So I counted like five times yeah, uh, and then started on the rug. But the rug is really slow going because it's a lot of color changes and stuff. It's the most complicated part of the yeah, stitching it's so on this. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. It's totally so worth beautiful. it. But I just, so like, I did my 200 stitches the first night, no problem. The second Tuesday, yeah, I stitched on Tuesdays. The second Tuesday, I went to do my 200 stitches. And it took me like the same amount of time to do like 100 stitches. And I was just like, okay, well, that's where I got. It. Yeah. So it probably will be a little bit slower until I'm done with the rug. But then once I get to the other green, it'll be zippy. And her hair is like pretty like color blocky and yeah. then I'm, and you can see like the outline of her knee. I'll have to go back in and backstitch, but I'm going to backstitch last because I don't mind backstitching as I go. The fact that it's like her body, I feel like I want to backstitch it all as like one or two sessions. I don't want to like backstitch her knee one in or elbow the other day because they really need to go together holistically. It's like, yeah. this is a person. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. So I love this whip. I'm glad that I'm taking it like 200 stitches at a time and enjoying it, but making consistent progress on it too. Yeah. So, um, and then I'll, oh, Addie from Addie's Cross and Quilts is beading as she goes, which is cool. So you should check that out. And then, um, Katie the Peacock Stitcher just has totally different fabric than we do. And I can't remember who else off the top of my head. It's in my notes from last time. There's somebody else who joined and now I'm just blanking, but I'll list them in the description because everybody's piece is on different fabric. So everybody's piece looks very individual and different. It, very, it changes the mood of the piece and it lives in this uh, Jen's custom bag, dragon bag. So I love her. Um, all right, we got more whips guys. <clears throat> Okay, so these are our in order. So this is Yellow Submarine by Blackbird Designs. This is part of the Magical Mystery Tour series. All I did was 250 stitches of this border. So I, the first night I did 250 stitches, I was like, oh, I'll hit my goal for this so easy and I'll get extra stitches in. But then this past Tuesday, she didn't get any because so my son's like birthday at school was last Wednesday. And so Tuesday night I was like making a poster for his like classroom and making sure we had the cupcakes and all the stuff. And so I only had one. So this only got one night of stitching when it should have gotten uh, two. I'm going to try to make it up by the end of the month if I can, because I have like the weekly goals, but I also made a chart for like, what should that be by the end of the month for each of these pieces? So if I have time or like want to try, like, or if something is calling me more than something else, it's like, okay, well, I owe stitches to both, so let me do the one I like the most. Mm -hmm. Now, I made a huge mistake when I said, I thought that I did the math, and based on how many stitches I had left, I'd be done in February. And that's not true. I must have looked at, like, stitches done and not stitches left or something, because it's like, I thought I did the number of stitches left divided by 200, and I would be done in February, because that would be how many weeks I would need. Mm -hmm. But that's not true. <laughs> like, so uh, we're going to start a beetle sal that I'll talk about. Um, but this will not be done before that sale starts, but that's fine. Did you redo when it will be done? No, no, no. Oh, oh no. I mean, I, I just basically like, I was like, well, we'll start this sale on February 13th and this will be done around that time anyway, so that'll be great. But no, this will still be going, but that's fine. Cause I, it's like, there's no rules that, this, that, so I'm there's doing, no so with Julian stitches, um, and her, it's Julian stitches 16 is her YouTube channel. We're doing, um, and we don't have the hashtag yet. We need to figure it out. I think she sent me an idea of one and I just don't remember what it was, but we need to get a hashtag. 
but we're doing a uh, blackbird or the blackbird beetles uh, style where you pick any of the six beetles patterns from the blackbird designs magical mystery tour series and you stitch any one of those you want we're starting february 13th because that is the day that strawberry fields forever the song was released and that's the pattern she and i are starting um it also is the most like valentine's day looking pattern frankie get out of my wet pile <laughs> um that's what I do. so um get over here but there's no like rule she's also still got yellow summer going there's no rule that you can only have one of them <laughs> so uh i'll just pick up strawberry fields you focus on that as many as you want and then go back and forth but jan holder is joining us um marissa from mkissa creations is joining us you're gonna do eleanor rigby so if you want to join i think there's some other people that have been talking about it if you want to join just pick any of those six patterns um, and we're starting February 13th, but like, it's a, you know, it's a start along slash sister along. So if you need to join early or late or whatever, if you have one going and you just want to pull it out and focus more on it, just make sure you tag me or Julie. And, the, and once we have a hashtag, use the hashtag, but if you tag us, then we'll know and we can share it so that, and then follow us so you can see other people's, but I'm excited about it. Like, um, I am too, but it, it means I I have to focus and finish some stuff so that I can yeah feel good about starting something. Do you want me to bring that pattern over next yeah. time so you can? I need to when we up. order from one two three six, you can kit up that one because you probably will want fabric that will be. I don't know. Not Ivory Ada. Yeah, probably not. We'll look at it. Yeah. Um. Oh, here's the floss ring. This this one. So the blackbird ones, like the, the different ones, have different. I also need to get the floss for that one. Yeah, we just, um, we'll, we'll have to do a big one. Two, we'll three. do an order. Um, but um, this is on 30, no, 28 count, but stitch me through the stones, which I love. And then it lives in the other so yellow cute. cat, yellow submarine cat bag, obviously, because it's yellow submarines. The cat bag. Um, from <laughs> cat. And then uh, it's got another one of my prized hoops is this larger princess hoop. Um, we're getting to the end. We're over halfway. Um, okay, flowers and friends. So we stitch, we try to stitch Liz Matthews on Mondays. You don't have a Liz Matthews flower right Matthew now. right now, yeah. Um, I'm working on flowers and friends. This was a Patreon from September. You can see it here. Now, I did a conversion. So these colors are different because I just pulled from stash. Um, but what I did since the last time you guys saw it, is the five so there are 15 border flowers that are like this they suck to stitch each of these flowers has four different colors and i my fabric is light enough that i cannot travel between them so i filled out um two of the i finished the two colors here and then i came over here and started i did all of this stuff over here that is 250 stitches, and it took the same amount of time as it would take me to do 400 stitches. Yeah. Stitch and learn. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so that lives in this Thread Lady 99 bag. I'm using one of my favorite hoops, so the hoop isn't the issue. And um, this is the conversion I chose from Stitchy Box. The purple is like a lot, I didn't think it looked darker. So my choices look different than the than the real choices, but I pulled the DMC because it's turned in MPI and DMC. I pulled the DMC. My choices don't look that different than the DMC, but it's reading a lot darker than the picture. So there's something going on between the two, between my own conversion and the picture not showing accurate colors where it's just reading a lot darker. But I like it. It's like, it's still very pretty. I don't need to change any of the colors, but it's like way... Moody's not really the right word, but it's like more dark jewel tones than I like than the real pattern is so or than the picture is. Well, that'll make it interesting. Um, all right, so this is one that I pulled out for the birthday princess style too. So this is my uh, pumpkin carriage by Alforest Embroidery. I'm using the Alforest variegated threads. I'm stitching this on 28 count awful witch at linen. I will never stitch home with again. Someone else had a big witch rant this week that made me just feel really good. Um, so I only did, it only got 200 stitches because I didn't, I stitched it the first Friday I was supposed to, but I didn't stitch it on this past Friday. Um, 
but I added, I kept coming down here and then I added in the doors and the pumpkin. So I feel like you can really tell that it got some work, even though it did get a lot of work. Yeah. But I'm using the variegated thread pack from L Forest Embroidery. And I really love this piece. Um, I'm just not really in a hurry to finish it because I really like it. And I like, I wasn't going to finish it naturally during this month unless I upped the amount of stitches. I didn't really want to do that. And I have so many other Al Forest pieces that I want to split Al Forest Friday with. So there's the that pack. But see, that's the same orange and cement oh, yeah. piece. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of it. Yeah. And I'm almost done with how much I need of it in that piece already. Yeah. Because all I need left of it is to come down here and then there's like a little bit down here, but it's like, I'll have a ton left over. So... Um, yeah, this piece is, it, this piece is like, I could finish it like this weekend if it's all I wanted to do, but I'm really enjoying stitching it and I'm not in a hurry to finish it. This is a free pattern on the Al Forest website. If you've never been to the Al Forest website, it has a ton of free stuff. So this right now is 53% done, but it only needs 1400 more stitches. So it's like, you could do it now. I, yeah, weeks. I could do it in three days of stitching, yeah. but I don't want to, like, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't need to rush it. It's it'll get done when it's done. It's just so pretty. Mm -hmm. Um, and it lives <clears throat> in this bag from Kathy's Rosies. Very cute. Okay, we got two more. Two more. Two more. And they're like pieces you guys have seen a million times. So, um, the real casualty of not having enough time to stitch the last couple weeks is uh, that my two pieces I'm supposed to hit every day got hit three days. Oh no. <laughs> so this is the, the Turkish shop. It's uh, my back to school style choice for the hashtag back to school style from S September where you picked a really, really big one. This has 60,000 stitches, which is very big for me. I'm not like a traditional like Hade or giant full coverage person. So 60,000 stitches is like, okay, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but I did get down to the bottom of the first page. So I didn't do a page finish or anything because I have two more columns to do, but I got, this is the bottom of the first page. Oh, nice. So this only got about 200 stitches in. It's, um, and I'm just going to keep going on it. And it lives in this, uh, cat bag from Jasmine Custom Bags. I love the cat bag. I have a lot of bags. From, I don't have, I mean, like, I don't have like a majority of my bags are not from Jasmine's Custom Bags or anything, but I can definitely tell I really love a project when I put it in one of these. Um, all right. Last whip. Yay. Lives in this Carrie Sews for You Amish quilt bag. Really cute. Which means it's time for an Amish pattern. <laughs> this is Told in a Gardens, uh, The Song of the People. I didn't do anything exciting. I just started into this like mm. green. Yeah. So um, you can see the picture here. And the barn area around the barn has like this green, uh, two shades of green like background. And I just started it. So the, the barn, I'll start the barn when I get to it, but it's like right here. But I figured I could make some quick progress if I just got to the green, but it's yeah. not exciting. No. Because, like, this quilt is five colors. So, this quilt took forever. So, I was like, well, let me just get some yeah. stitches out of the way. So, I'll be in this green border for a while. I may not bring it every time because it might be like, well, even if I did the right amount, it's still just, like, green blob. Yeah. Until the green blob is done, like, I yeah. might not bring it back. <laughs> no so, the next time you see it, it, all the green blob will be filled in. But I love it. This apple is because I stitched this. This is a reality TV stitch. So I don't actually stitch this two strands every day. I try to stitch this two strands any night I watch reality TV. But, like, that has not been happening. But that's my goal. But this is because of Real Housewives in New York. <laughs> okay. Because they're apples. <laughs> so big apple. I get yeah. it. But it also goes with an Amish name. It doesn't look, like, weird. Like, it's not like a, like a, I don't know. You know, it's not. It's not a high heel. <laughs> Yeah, so it's kind of something that goes. Yeah. And um, there are some people doing, uh, Sam, the Hugo Stitcher, just showed her told in a garden. And um, uh, someone else just, oh, uh, Joy from the Carolina Stitchers is doing a told in the garden with friends stitch along. I don't know how much she's like actively working on it, but I know that she is um, a told in the garden fan. And Told in the Garden is by Marriott Levitt Emblem, which we I did look it up. She is Nora Corbett's mom. Oh, okay. So she did Told in the Garden, Lavender and Lace, and Butternut Road are her pattern designs. Then her daughter is Nora Corbett. Um, Kathy, I think it's Kathy Barrick. Who is Liz Matthews' mom? It's Kathy Barrick, right? I think so. So yeah, so it's not uncommon for like 
stitchers to then pass that tradition on, yeah. which I think is really cool. Yeah, um, it's so nice. I work in the same field as my mother, personally. <laughs> We work in the same office. We do. She's not um, the worker now. <laughs> oh, one thing. None of the tools in the gardens are out of print. So don't let anybody try to sell you like, oh, it's $20 out of print. None of them are. There are some lavender lace that might be out of print. I, 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 did, I, like, I think there are some lavender lace that are out of print, but none of the tools in the gardens are out of print. And I like a lot. I don't love all of them, but I like a lot of them. Like I have a few more that I really like, but some of them are not my style. Some of them are super 80s and some of them are like are 80s in a fun way. You know what I mean? No. But um, you'll show me. And yeah. Be this one's 80s in a fun way. Okay. All right. That's my whips. Yay. Yay. I won't finish them. I'll finish. <laughs> I will finish one of them by next time, but I'm not going to have like less whips ever. Okay. Actually, this is a time where I had less total projects touched because normally I touch 14. But I touched only 13. Oh. I was very good. Okay. <laughs> I started two yesterday, but I was very good. <laughs> um, all right. So next up. We have um, plans. What are your plans? Okay. So I'm going to do pick a whip. Oh. I know. I'm excited. I didn't do the first prompt because honestly I had um, like stage fright or something because I was like, which one is intimidating me? None of them are intimidating me, which was just bizarre. Oh, I knew exactly which one was intimidating me and I didn't touch it because it was. Because it was intimidating, intimidating me. Okay. And I have to start it next week. Are you so. going to do it? Um, I'm doing pick a whip, but, um, so my one that was intimidating me is starting this ink circles round robin because I have to send it to other people Oh yeah. and they have to count off of it, but it's like a mandala. So I'm doing two round robins. I'm starting one in February, but one is like charted out like we're each doing different quadrants, but the mandala literally has, has to like, to you can't fudge it. Mm -mm. And then also like we stitch different legs over, like some people stitch different, you know, and then on top of it, like Maggie from Kitchy Whips is going to see my stitching. In her hands, like that's very stressful. Is that stressful? Okay. Allie's gonna see it. It's stressful. So like, okay. I'm like, they're very nice people. They're no, they're <laughs> lovely people. They're very good stitchers, and I've only been stitching for six months. And then also, um, I don't think my original fabric choices are what I'm gonna stick with. Like, but I, and I have a good stash of fabric and floss, but like, deciding which one I'm actually gonna do, it's like stressing me out. Oh, okay. Like the other round robin, I need to decide floss for too, and that one. Um, it stresses me out less because I feel like the way that pattern, like, the, you can't really mess up either of these patterns, but it is stressful. So, yeah. So, it was so intimidating that I didn't. That so you just it. didn't do it. Like, oh, okay. It's like, oh, thank you for helping me identify with the source of my anxiety, but I'm still not stitching Okay. It. <laughs> That's really <laughs> funny. She came out with the other one today. The new one today is your favorite color. Favorite, favorite color. What is so your favorite color? It depends on what I'm working on. I yeah. have a favorite color. In life. What's your favorite color in life? Is it must, your must, the color of your Mustang? No, it's probably more light blue. Oh, so Cinderella. Yeah. Yeah. So Cinderella. But I was already going to work on that. So that seems like cheap. But no, I, I feel like I should pick something I wasn't going to pick up. Well, you could either do like, okay, if you were somebody that counted stitches or, or time or whatever, you could be like, I was going to do an extra or whatever. But I'm. But you I'm, don't have to. Like some of them do double up. Yeah. I think I'll pick one of my other ones. Like, maybe I'll pick, I like the really, bl the, like, electric blues that are in the um, Satsuma Street. Yes. 12 Days of Christmas. I might pick one of those. I haven't decided yet. That's what I'm going to do. Those are my plans. I'm going to pick something. <laughs> I'm going to pick a whip. <laughs> my plans are, I'm going to pick a whip. I'm going to pick a whip. <laughs> and I'm going to order the Krynik so I can finish the bar. Yeah, well, we need to do. Well, I don't need to, so, yeah, we need to. I need to kid up strawberry fields when I need to. I need to look at all of my February starts I've planned. And most of my starts I have planned for the whole year were already kitted, but like January and February leaned heavily towards things that needed stuff. And so I've ordered January stuff, but I haven't ordered February yet. All right, my plans. Um, Julie and Stitches 16. Her birthday is the 16th, which is actually my half birthday. So she has a birthday style, which is hashtag. I'll list the hashtag here. I don't remember. It's like hashtag CCC something, but I don't remember it. But it's like, um, you got to pick a pattern that is by somebody oh, in a community culture. or a cause or a culture, but like pick something that's by somebody in that world. And I said, I didn't have anything, but I would do that. I was, but she's also like a huge birder. So I was like, but I'll start my winter birds titmouse that day. Um, because she likes, she's doing a titmouse pattern. And she likes to tip, tip mice 
I don't know if that's the plural. I, I would assume that it plural. is, but it's a very strange word. I don't know. But she told me birds are culture, and so it just counts. So I'm starting that on Tuesday, um, on the 16th. Yeah, tomorrow. And then I need to start my ink circles round round. <laughs> I need to finalize the floss choice. I need to finalize fabric choice, and I just need to start it. When do you have to have your portion done, Ma? The end of the quarter. Mar the end of March. And the end of March, yeah. yeah. So you have the whole quarter to stitch it, but like if I don't, I can't. You have to start not gonna, it. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> if I only stitch it in March or whatever, that would be awful. So those are my plans. Good plan. Good plan. All right, our next section is Floss Tube University. It's the portion where we recommend floss tubers aside from all the people we've already mentioned. But we specifically try to share something we learned from them or something you should go check them out for um, because this community is like so great for learning about cross stitch, not just for like hearing fun chit chat while you stitch, even right. though that's what I like about it too. Right. So um, who are you recommending? Well, I like it because of that, but I also, I like the community. I like the culture of it. It's, it's positive. It's, it's, it's almost therapeutic to be a part of this community. And so um, the crafty, let's see, the curious crafters, um, and I don't remember who is who, so I'm not gonna say their names. <laughs> Um, but it's two sisters that um, do their floss tube together. And they were talking on their last one this week about um, just being so thankful. We're thankful for um, the time that we get to stitch, but we're also thankful for the artists who create the patterns that we enjoy and the artists who dye the fabric and then the other ones who do the floss. And it's just a community of wonderful people who are all um, and we get to use all of these skills and all of these crafts and it's just it was a, a moment of thankfulness and I really enjoyed that oh so that was a good one you should go check them out and they'll be in the description so anybody we've mentioned under floss tube I think I've started doing it just like floss tubes mention and then maybe separately at like a floss tube university section of the mention so but any floss we mentioned we would not mention a floss tube we didn't you should check it out right but but these are the ones we're like noted this week. Like, oh, you should definitely you check should them go out. check them out. Um, all right, mine is Miss Chloe S W. So she is an Australian floss tuber. She's like really big on um like uh, in the it's, she's very active on Instagram too, and that's how I found out about her. But she um is super kind. She's watched some of our videos and commented. She's very nice. Um, but I was watching her. I think it was her whip parade she's very funny like if you like someone who can like just come up with like a one-liner off the top of their head she's very funny but she, you know how we talked before about stitching in the well which is where mm -hmm. you like so i never heard of it before i learned about it from um son of a stitch his videos which he now makes videos for caterpillar cross stitch so i don't know if he's gonna have his own anymore but um so i a lot of people will put their floss their floss tube their hoops where the the top of the stitching is at the top. And if you stitch in the well, you put the top here so that this is your back and you're stitching down here. And that makes it easier to get to your needle and finish things, especially if you're stitching towards the edge. It also keeps your stitching cleaner because your stitching doesn't rub on anything. So she said, and I don't know if this is an Australian thing or if this is just a different term, but she called it stitching in the ditch. Oh. Which I've heard that as like a quilting term, but that's something different, but in cross stitch. So, um, we got, I got confused last week when we were reading the instructions for Cinderella and it was tweeting, not morning. Yeah, tweeting. So if yeah. you hear stitching in the ditch, it's stitching in the well, it's the same thing. And it's stitching with your hoop up. Interesting. So, um, she's really funny though. You should just check her out. All right. Is there anybody else you're recommending this week? Um, I also was watching, um, Fibers and Floss Canada. Oh, yeah. Um, I really like her. She's very, also a very positive person to watch. Um, she's, she just says great things that you just reflect on. Yes, I'm thankful to be stitching, and I'm thankful that I have all this craftiness in me, and it was just wonderful. She's been stitching for decades and decades, wonderful. too. Wonderful. Like, her whole life, basically. She did a whole video. The, specifically, I'm pointing out, go watch her, Teresa Win Winslet. Yeah, I haven't watched that one yet. Um, videos because she started it and she did this whole video on how she's kidding it up and how she's approaching it. <sighs> That's got a lot of blends. And it's, it's she said like 80 something blends. And she actually or... went and got the Adam Hart floss blend. Mm -hmm. Like, So I got the floss drop, the floss bobbins, which are where when you're done with the floss drop, you can wrap it up like a bobbin and store it like a bobbin. She got the ones that are not that. They're floss drops, but they have two holes for so you can put... A little bit of each of your color to make blends. Mm -hmm. I think it's three holes because then 
There's one for the working. There's one for the working, but I mean, it has, yeah. instead of having one main color hole, it right. has two color holes for their blends. Right. Well, I was just watching it and it was good advice on if you're going to do a full coverage in general, just some things to think about, like storing your floss and how you're going to handle that. So um, it was really interesting to watch. So if you're thinking about doing a, a really big stitch, maybe for the first time, maybe go check that out first. Well, and we gave away two Teresa Winsler patterns and one of them was claimed and then the one that didn't get that didn't get an entry got a bunch of entries last week and so I do have a winner for that oh, one yeah. for we'll announce at the end of this video. Um all right, so um haul. Oh. Guys, I have a oh, yeah. I have a large fabric haul. Um Allison, what's your haul? Okay. I have a mini haul in comparison. So I oh I in my plans I forgot to tell you, I'm also supposed to I'm starting um the first month of Stitch for Pride 2024's, um, the month long, or yeah. the year long style. I'm from doing, D's 20 Stitches. From D's 20 Stitches. I'm doing, um, I'm going to do January's and I haven't, I haven't done anything except buy the fabric. <laughs> so you had to sign up for this style by the end of the last year. So you can't sign up now, but I was yeah. messaging D about something else and they said it might open up again oh. at a slightly higher price, which would be fine. And you know, like, yeah. Um, or they didn't say slightly. It might open up at a higher price because I was like, I'll pay triple, I'll pay quadruple. I just miss it. I have FOMO. I have so much FOMO. And they said, get on the newsletter. If, if it opens up again, it might open up again. It'd be a higher price and it'd be later this year. But just like get on the newsletter if you Think feel like it. me, like you are really sad that you didn't. Yeah. Well, and now that you've seen the first one, aren't you just That's like. so cool. I didn't, I couldn't wrap my head around what it was. Like what yeah. it was because, because, um. It was motifs from different artists in the LGTBQIA community. I couldn't wrap my head around what that meant. Like, for some reason, that did not go into my head. And so when you were like, you want to do it, I was like, well, of course you want to do it. You're a huge D fan. You're going to sign up for anything they do right now, like, because you just want to support them. Yeah. But, um, and I'm a fan of theirs, but I, like, already had all of my plans for the year. I, I have so many things. I was like, I, and I couldn't even figure out like what, what, what. And then I started to tell people such, I was like, Stephanie, you made a mistake. <laughs> well, you can watch me. Maybe. I'm going I'm to watch sorry. you. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is painful. Watch you every week. And Elizabeth from Savory Sewing is doing it. Yes. Cinematic Stitches is doing, doing it. it. The Peacock Stitcher, Katie's doing it. I messed up. Yeah. So I got, I got the call for fabric, which is really cool. I don't do that. All the time. You almost never um, yeah. buy, buy like a special hand dyed, over dyed mm -hmm. anything. But I like the color. I didn't know what the color was. I was just so excited about the salad. It's like, give it to me. So it's this really cool neutral modeled. From Miss Light color. Pages from called Miss Determination. Pages. And this is a 16, 16 count Ada. Yeah. That's kind of like what I like stitching on. The 16 count. I can't count. tell if it's like, it's not really washed out. It's just showing up a little dark. I think this is right. Yeah. It's hard to tell. It's lighter. It's lighter than what you're seeing. But um, there's a lot of people stitching it. Yeah. So I'm going to start that. And that's part of my haul. And then I didn't get the floss pack. They were sold out of the floss pack. Um, but the instructions say that they can be done on um, monochromatically. And so I, I took that in my own direction. I thought, okay, well, I'll, I'll make my own um, choices. So I got Cosmo Flosses. That are all different variegated colors. Ooh, your first Cosmo. I know. These are my first time I've ever done Cosmo. This is the first time I will have done a monochromatic that's variegated Ooh. at all. And so I, I went all out. <laughs> and I was like, give me all of the colors. So I think January I'm going to do. Oh, that will one. look good. It's going to be so pretty. <sighs> Can't see it. Okay. Um, and then I bought gridded 16 count easy grid ada for my disney wishes upon a dream cinderella wishes upon a dream not it, gonna, i'm gonna call it my i'm cinderella not disney i'm not gonna say stitch. that i like the name or that the name makes sense to me as no. a name or that any of them make sense to me as names or the concept but that is what it's called <laughs> i'm going to be calling it my cinderella disney yes. stitch i think that's fine there we go and that's all i got okay stitch. guys um Yay. we have to talk okay um you have a problem <laughs> i have a okay some different situations converged at once mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to 
Mm -hmm. Some orders that were placed in the past showed mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. Some fabric of the month showed up late. Some fabric of the month showed up right on time. And some magical, hard to find items came on sale all at once. And this all converged in like a five day period. So all the money was not spent during these five days. The money was spent over months, but all of this fabric showed up all at the same time. And so I'm going to show you guys truly an obscene amount of fabric, but I'm going to show it just because I'm going to show it because I, I know I like seeing other people's large fabric hauls. I don't get sick of it. But it is a lot of fabric, and I don't need to hear about it. You don't need to say, don't, if you're coming. I've already said it. Don't worry about it. And she hasn't even, she hasn't even said that much. Like, she's not saying what she's thinking. I, it's so much fabric that I literally quit one of my fabric clubs because I'm like, well, I can't have this much fabric show up and then still be in a club where I get a piece of fabric every month. Didn't quit all of them, but I quit one of them. Not Sorry. all of them. Okay, so. But before I show the fabric, I'll just show the two flosses that I got. And I'll, um... So I'm in the Vestitch Me uh, Silk of the Month pack. So um, one thing I will say. Oh, pretty. So this is Christmas, Jammies, and Snowman. Aww. One thing I will say, I love the Vestitch Me clubs. And I, it is hard to get stuff that is so seasonal at the end of the month. When I'm not, like, I'm not, I don't want to stitch with something called Christmas Jammies. That I'm receiving December 31st. Or it came a little late this month, but even if it was normal, it would have been a little late. I wish they would move it to a month. Like, I wish this had been the thing for, like, the last of December. Like, because some of the seasonal stuff with some of the clubs is, like, well, you have to be in it a year in advance. Because now I have great, I have great stuff for next year. Um, but this year, it's like, well, yeah, I'm not going to switch with Christmas jammies this late. Um, and then, the, but the colors that came in are just great. So Scarlet, uh, Buttered Biscuits, that's pretty. Bering Sea, Leaf, and Slimy Trail Slime. <laughs> but yeah, these are great. I'll use these, but I'm going to save that Christmas jammies for next December. And actually the fabric from them was not, from Bestitch Me, is not the, like something that's so seasonal. But some of the things, like the one I got at the end of November, was such a beautiful fall, but like I was kind of done stitching fall. And so it'll be great next year, but it'd been cooler if it had showed up. Oh, like if it was just like one month shifted. All right. I also got some patterns, which I don't have any of them physically here, but I'll, I'll flash them up here. So I told you guys the Artsy Housewife had a sale. Um, I got the PDF for Christmas Chicken, which I'm really excited about. Um... And then uh, the the Ko-Fi like monthly subscription I'm in for the Giddy Stitcher, she had a pattern called Winter Woolies, which is like a great winter pattern, but not Christmas at all. And I'll show that here. And then um, I won, and you actually got some haul too. Yeah. So I want to get, I want, some of my haul is giveaways. I want a giveaway from December Stitches, um, where I got to pick out five patterns from their Etsy shop and you got to, and I got to pick someone to pick out one. So you got yeah. one pattern. So I picked out Santa Cat in a scooter, which I'm definitely stitching okay. this. Like, I'm going to stitch it before next Christmas. It may not be done, but this is a 2024 start. Then I also got Magenta Nutcracker, Mouse King Nutcracker, Love and Joy Sampler, and Two Snowmen. I'm so excited about them. They're so cute. It was so nice. Like, five patterns are so generous. And then yeah. you also... We got, got, got the Bubble Cat. Oh, cool. It's so cute. I'm definitely going to stitch it. All right, it so in. I'll show that here. Yeah. So, yeah, so even though I don't always show pattern haul, I didn't want to skip that yeah. because that was, like, so nice. Oh, that it was we... so nice, and it's so cute. All of them are so cute. They're, um, Valentine's one I probably will end up buying. <laughs> anyway, it's so cute. We'll All right, so that. now we're going to go through this fabric. We're going to go through it fast. All right, so I got two different times where I was on one, two, three stitch, and I looked for their Lakeside Linen, and Lakeside Linen was available. And sometimes you order Lakeside Linen on one, two, three stitch, and it doesn't ship. And so I have a lot of like said linen that has never shipped and I don't know if it ever will ship. So when I see it, I just buy it knowing like that doesn't even mean I'm going to get it. Um, so this is um, a fat eighth of, this might not be an eighth, this might be smaller than eighth. This is a nine by 13 of um, light exemplar and um, in 32 and this is 32 count maple sugar. All right, and then another time I was on there and there was more Lakeside Linen available. And I, not all of the Lakeside Linen I ordered from this order actually shipped. Some of it didn't ship, but 40 Count Maple Sugar, which is such a beautiful neutral. Really and then this next color I'm obsessed with, like 
I was so excited. It's um, Vintage Pear. And I got it in 28 and 32 count just because I was like, uh, I just love the color so it's much. A good color. Okay, so yeah, it's like, okay, Lakeside Linens available. I'm going to buy it. Like, I'm just like, I don't have it in me to be like, no, I don't want that in my stash because I pull it out and I use it too. I don't just let it sit there. Yeah. And then my January Oak Crown uh, Studios Fabric of the Month. It's like a, it's so it's showing up a little redder than it's more more pink. It's pink for sure. But this is um Amy from Fiber Arts Amy's Club, and I get it in twenty eight count linen. And she said this month's fabric was inspired by shell collecting with my daughter, and she Aww. lists I want to stitch Mirabilly's Aphrodite on it. There's enough red in it to make it a perfect Valentine's stitch as well. I may use it for Autumn Lane Century's Lovebirds. So it's like a pink with red in it. But I think it's showing up as more red on camera. If you had something with a lot of white on it, it, it would look yeah. real good. So this is so pretty. Um, what count is that? 28. Very, very pretty. So yeah. Um, and then my Miss Is Me Fabric of the Month came in. The neutral, I switched this to 40 count. So these are 40 count. So the neutral is in the veil, which is like. A very pale green. It's greener than it's showing up. It's a great neutral, but it definitely leans green. It does lean green. But it's so pretty. It's like a gray green. Yeah. It's not raining right in the camera. It's raining really more like it, like a beige neutral, and it's but more it's green. Not. Yeah. Um, and the fabric was blue moon. Pretty. This oh, this also would have been that great for been candy. Great for I candy. wonder if I should switch it to this because I could. I didn't. I only did like a hundred something stitches. I could move that? it. No, this is 40. Actually, you're right. I can't. That would be hard. I don't, because she has beads, and I want to do it as called for because it's a newer mm. one. Um, you're right. Thank you for not making, saving me from regretting. My <laughs> okay. These next ones are fabrics I ordered a long time ago that finally got here. So you guys might remember, if you saw my Nor November video, I ordered fabrics in, Octo like in early October. Four pieces I was hoping I would get to start in November, not... But it it wasn't like a thing. It wasn't going to be a problem if they weren't here. But the website said three to twelve weeks. Well, it really was thirteen weeks before it showed up on my doors. So this is um, twenty eight count Stitch me, um, enchanted forest. So I think this is what I'm going to do. Cathedral Woods got us on. Oh, that will be so. I I ordered two choices, and I think this is the final. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. I'll show you the other piece I ordered that was like my other choice that it'll just be now in my stash. But this is like a great brown and green. I think it's going to be yeah. Similar. So Middle oh. Earth was my other choice for it. But this came out more pink. I thought it'd be more white and brown. It's coming mm -hmm. out more pink. And, like, it's definitely I thought pink. it'd be white and, and gray based on the picture. And it's kind of like an orangey pink and brown. Lots of good things will go on. Like will look good on here. But I just think that one that is better for so Cathedral. Yeah. yeah. But this is very pretty. So those are things I ordered in October. Pretty. Now, um... The next two things, one I ordered in October, one I ordered this month, are Choices for Floral Dreams by Nora Corbett. And then I have one more option coming. I think... That is so spring. I, that is Easter written all over it. This one's, so if this one's orange and green. This is Garden Party. If I don't do Floral Dreams on that, do you know what Floral Dreams look like? No. Okay, I'm going to put it up here. But it's the other Wild Floss Naked Lady one, but like the flowers, she's got lots of flowers. The flowers are pink and purple. So that's why I second guessed my choice of an orange and went and got a purpley. Ooh. But then I also have a pink that I'd ordered in October that's still not here yet. Yeah. So that I'm going to have three cool. choices. I'll look at them all when they're all here and then I'll put whichever ones I don't pick in stash. Yeah. But yeah, so, um, but it's so pretty. So that's also 28 count because I want to do the Doras on... The 28 count, so except them. then to stitch me out of Friday night, Friday night. And if you can see that I had ordered stuff in October to get it now, there were some stuff they had up for Friday night, Friday night that I was like, so that's where she has in her Facebook group ready to ship fabric, but you have to be the first person to get it. And so, um, like if I wasn't the first person to get it, then you can pass on it. So if you say yes, then you decide you don't want it. But, um, I think I'm going to do Snow Queen by Mirabilia on this, but this is a 40 count. This is Tundra. But I think I'm going to do a mini mirror. Hmm. So there's a Facebook group. Kitchy Whip started it. Maggie from Kitchy Whip started it. Um, called Mini Mirrors. And it's where you do. Just the fairies are mini. 
you can do anything at home. It's where you it's where you take any minute real bill you want to power pad it and do it on a higher count so it's tinier. I thought they were specific. Never mind. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So people do mirror. So I'm gonna do Snow Queen on a forty count, and instead of doing bees, I'm gonna convert it to like Krynik, and um, I think that will be really pretty. But my other options for her on that, and then I decided if I I decided whichever of these blues I didn't use for that, I would just be happy to have light blue and stash because it's such a good winter. Mm -hmm. So this is Frozen Lake from Besitch Me. Um, in 32 and 40 count. So they're the same fabric in different counts. But, because I didn't know which one I wanted to do, and I didn't know if I wanted to make her mini or not. And then I'm like, actually, I do. I want to make her mini on this blue. Yeah. And then these will be great for, like, snowmen and different things That'd be year. fun. Oh, you could vote, put that snowman from December Stitches. Yeah. That would be so cute. Um, and then, um, I ordered this just because it's a good neutral. This is called Pink Chocolate. And I got it in 40 count and 32 count. But this is also by Miss Me. So I got one on Friday night, fight night, and then the other one I got and they're ready to ship. Because she'll put some stuff on her website as ready to ship. Um, but it usually goes fast. But some counts don't go fast. It's like 28 count goes pretty fast. I was able to get a 40 not fast. And then I got a 32 on the Friday night, fight night. Because I was like, well, I already like the 40. But I can't have that many 40 count projects going. So... When you like to stitch as many different things as I like to stitch and you want to experiment with different counts, all of a sudden you're like, well, you need different fabrics for different things and they don't work for, like that blue is a perfect color for candy, but won't work. Yeah, it's like, it, so yeah. it's like, it's, so anyway. And then um, I ordered this too because I already had a piece of this in 28 and I loved it. So when I had the ready to ship, I ordered it in 40 count too. Because mm. I don't have any like pretty color 40s. It's like... It's Lotus. Yeah. It's a very light purple. It's like a very, very light so purple. So pretty. It's like a... Yeah. It's just a beautiful Like purple. between white and purple. <laughs> yeah. That light. It's very pretty. Last one. Okay. So, then, so those are the fabrics I bought. Then the Stitch Me does a lot of giveaways. And I happened to win a piece of fabric in the giveaway at the same time. I was So this is 32 Count Tsunami. That's great. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to do something amazing with it. You should. But yeah, she's 32 count. So. That's perfect. Guys, that was my um, embarrassing fabric haul. But so that's how I've shared it. I don't want to, uh, We're not going to do that. Don't count. We're not going to count them. We're not going to count. And there's three more pieces from this history that I ordered in October that aren't here yet. Christmas Elegance, my other floral um, dreams option. And then what was the other piece in it? There's something else in it that's tagged for something. So some of these are tagged for specific things. Some of these are just stashed. Some of these are fabric of the months. But I do pull my fabric out and start things. I like to have them. And if I ever didn't want them, I could de-stash them for what I paid for them. So yeah. it's not like stressful, but it is just like that's a lot. A lot of fabric at once. Um, but I mean, I'm not gonna say no to like side linen. I'm not gonna say no to the perfect piece of fabric for a marabilia. I'm already planning on stitching. Like just you know, making choices. Okay. Allison's like, oh my god. Yeah. One day for your birthday, I'm just going to get you, like, ten different pieces of fabric. You know how much that would stress me out? <laughs> oh, well, this doesn't stress me. This doesn't stress me out to have it in my stash because I love being able to go to my stash and pull out the right thing. The problem with that is I will be like, oh, that's a great pattern. Oh, I have the perfect fabric for that. I must start it right now when I already have 15 going. Well, I'm not a must start it right now person either. I am a like, must start you, it right If now. you tell me, like, I just saw a pattern I'd say I like, I'm like, she's going to start this in 48 hours. Yeah. I'll put it on a list. I'll get the pattern. I'll slowly cut it up and I'll start it when I'm ready. I like have very few like impulse. Oh, why are all impulse starts? I actually can't think of. I don't like think it's, I have it's been thing. so hard for me. You gave me the Disney pattern like a month in advance. You know how hard it was to like stop and not start. <laughs> oh no, I have so many projects like kitted, oh. like because I have my whole years with the starts like pre kitted. That yeah. doesn't stress me out. Oh. Um. None of that stresses me out, actually. Like, even, like, the only thing that stresses me out is if I feel like I need to have something done by a particular time. Or if I'm trying to get something done in season because I know I won't want to do it when the season's over and I don't want to carry it to next year. If, like, some of these are for things that, like, I bought them in October. They showed up today. I'm going to start them in May. And if I didn't buy them in October, I would need to be ordering them right now to be able to start them in May. So it's, like, not stressful to me. Yeah. It's just a lot all at once. That's probably why I could never do... 
dyed to order fabric. So I'm like, yeah. if it's not here by Tuesday, I'm picking something else. You're very like, it has to yeah. be now or never. And I'm like, no, I'm like long-term plan things like calendars. Yeah. Like it does, that doesn't stress me out. I like to be prepared. It's just like, I like having a large wardrobe. Like I like having a dress that's only a fancy party dress and I go to one fancy party a year. You know, it's fine. I like having two fancy party dresses, even though I go to one fancy party a year. <laughs> it's totally fine. Um, it's just weird to be like, it all showed up at the same, the time. same time. Um, okay. So that was haul. So we're Yay. almost done. Yay. Let me find my, we just need to do giveaways. But where did I put my iPad? Oh, okay. So the winners from last time, um, the, uh, we bought the patterns and both of them, <laughs> uh, are people that we've interacted with for a long time. So that's exciting. So, last time we gave away uh, this cute cow pattern from Little House Needleworks. And the winner is uh, Crafty Fasty, who is Yay! from Oklahoma. Yes. Um, so, to claim your prize, you need to email or DM me your mailing address and I will get it in the mail hopefully this week. I did finally buy mailing mailers to mail things out. Yeah. Then the other get yours quick because we're in Oklahoma City. Yeah. <laughs> and the other one um we gave away last time was the Camelot sampler and the winner is the Okie Stitcher. Yay! <laughs> yeah. so, Yay! Someone wants to swing my head into no I'm just kidding. <laughs> Um, so those will go out in the mail. So um, either DM me on Instagram uh cross the globe or email this email address. And then for our giveaway for this week, um, I have one pattern that is new and one pattern that was went unclaimed. So the first one, I have duplicates of my Song of the People. I'm really loving stitching on it. If you've been inspired by me or the Hugo Stitcher or anybody else to stitch a toll in the garden and you don't have one, um, this is one I really love. And if you want to claim this one to enter, for both patterns to enter, you need to be a subscriber. If you're over 18, you need to leave a comment with whichever keyword we tell you. Um, it closes when we film our next video, which is usually two weeks, but I, I draw the morning or the night before we film our next video. And there's it has no replacement value if it gets lost in the mail. So if you want to claim Song of a People, use the word song. And then um, this one is Little House New Work, Little Works Princess and the Pea. And this one went and claimed. So if you want to enter our, or if you want to join the princess birthday style, or if you just want to um, stitch this cute little princess and the pea puppy dog pattern. Um, this one's also by Little House Needleworks. Uh, use the keyword um, puppy, because princess would be <laughs> maybe taken. All right, so that is all we have. Um, do you have anything else you want to say? Uh, no. Okay. We've talked a lot. Well, so. thanks so much. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.